Hey Koopy and Cats and Kittens, it's your boy CD. Welcome to CD's Gaming. We're playing some a uh, little bit more of this Hogwarts Legacy. And I was like, I just want to see if I can crouch down now. Yes, as you can see, I was finally able to do the, the postal spell and or charm and then walk up to it and crouch down. I don't know why I couldn't do it the other day. But yesterday, actually. But I can do it now. So we're going to continue on. Yeah, same. Yeah, with uh, Sebastian's. Yep, we're going to yep, we're gonna go through. Huh, a stairway. Finally. Rebellion. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger. Second week in camp, more at a variety's day, the muggle doctors meet us all right on healers. A journal entry of Isadora's. I should hold on to this. I traveled here tonight, but I long to help. My eternal struggle is overwhelming. If a spell has a magic wand to heal, and I am the one preventing it from doing so, should I lose hope? Or do I regret not having done more? I cannot look into their eyes knowing that I could lessen the burden of heartache. I saw the man leaving camp today, the one who still reminded Father, surely it wouldn't hurt to help him. I could further my research, of course, but that would be a fort fortuitous, excuse me, fortuitous consequence of doing something good with this ability. I've never said that word in my entire life. Fortuitous. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Rebellion! hanging up in there. Then no, that's a curtain. I don't know if it's a good one. Rebellion. You're not going to believe this. I can see the undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. I know it sounds strange, but honestly, nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I have a rare ability to see whispers of ancient magic. I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you weren't telling me everything. Ancient magic. What does that even mean? I'm not entirely sure, but the Keepers have said that it's a powerful magic that should only be wielded by a select few. And you can wield it? I don't know, but Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows, I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can. But perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. 
Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Revelio. Like this. And is it, oh, I can't get to the chest. I thought this was something. No? Okay. Now we're back at school. So we went there, went to school. I guess that quest is complete. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Here. Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Anything helpful in the note? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. Yes! All right, so that quest is done. So mad, that could have been done on Friday. That could have been done yesterday, right? Attend astronomy class, okay? All these other professor assignments. Do I have a venomous? of Falbutton Castle. After dark, do not tell anyone. saw the light. I was like, who the hell is behind me? <laughs> I thought I was tracking him. Okay, so now I gotta meet Daddy after dark. Can't do that until I learn it. Okay. 
there's a blue flame. Ah! Revelio. Revelio. And there's one right there at the top. Not even magic. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies. Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? P Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self-same stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Oh, uh, hello. Good to see you again. We Ravenclaws must stick together. <laughs> oh, hello, Amit. Nice to see you again. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? Oh, I, get a new class. I, was like, What's I the have a class? spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. I can't do that, Armit. You might need it. No, really, you can. And I won't. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I. Thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. How do I 
get to the store. Oh, hello again. He says the store is right below us. This was his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. Revelio! night for stargazing. Do not let it be wasted. Professor Shaw, I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. It is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord. But if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, you must rid your mind of the terrestrial babble of others. We ourselves are not unlike blank star charts, you know? Empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer. Do you understand? You mentioned astronomy tables earlier, in class. What were you talking about? Long ago, devotees of the astral arts set up stone slabs across the countryside. They are ideal for studying constellations near and far. For centuries, wizards made use of these astronomy tables for stargazing. Sadly, they have since become mere monuments to the intrepid intellectual pursuits of a bygone epoch. Am I right in thinking you are unimpressed by divination? Of the many other so-called disciplines taught here, divination is perhaps the most feeble, especially in its nonsensical practice of astrology. Do not confuse astronomy and astrology. One is concerned with mysteries stellar and lunar. The other is mere lunacy. Thank you, Professor. I look forward to stargazing. I am glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it. Perfect night for... Oh, hello again. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. Ah, I had a feeling there would be a catch to that telescope. No, no. I, I certainly wasn't trying to bribe you or anything. But are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. All right, I suppose I can go with you. I hope it's worth it. It will be. Trust me, I have read practically everything there is to read about this. It should be brilliant. Shall we? Trying to get us killed. The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform. Something that doesn't quite belong. Okay, so we'll know it when we see it. 
Excellent. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the glass from now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Lumos. Lumos! Hmm. Revelio. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as tidy as I expected. The pulse. Lumos. Lumos! Revelio. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Oh no. Not this close to school, I mean. Lumos. There's the table. I think you should do the honors. Go. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Stargazing is all about patience and precision. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Whatever you say, Amit. Whatever you say. <laughs> oh, you wait. You are going to be quoted saying just that. This is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Um, anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Ah, <sighs> never do get tired of seeing the astronomy tower at night. What a view. That's a whole other quest, just like the books. Boy. Meet Natty after dark.
the sun looks again this morning. It's so nice. It's like Team Divination class during the day. Because it doesn't, it's not telling me how to get to Natty. Speak with Sebastian. It's not telling me how to get to Natty, so we're going to attend divination class during the day. I knew, I knew it was on there somewhere. <laughs> I have not memorized the map. Who who the hell is doing that? Oh, let's just kick it in. I'm a little, I'm a little up there. You know, the trees. Is it taking me to meet Natty after all? Then it was track. It was having me track go somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, right. yeah. Did you do 
imagine going to class, having to climb up and down a ladder. <clears throat> I, 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 yeah. I'll be unrivaled at the next course. Again? She's so confident. Like, what is happening? <laughs> she was so confident. Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh dear. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumours that goblins may have been involved. Well, I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle, or am I overthinking this? I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I... Ugh. Could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. I take it you and your uncle are close? We are. My mother died when I was born, and I lost my father when I was five. Uncle Roland's looked after me for as long as I can remember. He knows I get anxious when he travels, and that's why he sends me all the owls, to let me know that he's all right. Has your uncle traded with many goblins? Yes, for ages. Even speaks gobbledygook. But he only recently mentioned... Gobbledygook. Ranrock's lot. <sighs> Insisting the galleons like. were worth the risk. Does he does it for me. Between robes and supplies, attending Hogwarts costs a fair sickle. And besides that, Uncle Roland has expensive taste. He's sacrificed so much for me over the years. I promised him that as soon as I finish Hogwarts, I shall be the one taking care of him. I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record keeping, notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last hour, he drew me a map of his next stop. He planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. Oh, Uncle Roland, what have you got yourself into? What do we have here? I hope those assignments Rebellion. are challenging enough for you. I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Roni. Very well done. Although I must admit, 
I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, Wait, as you have no then? doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come, what do you see in your own future? I see good things. After all, the future's mine for the taking. And I shall take what I must. Hmm. The future is not etched in stone. It can be carved out by those with very strong wills. And you do seem to possess one. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. I hope Adelaide's Uncle Roland is all right. She seems very worried. Adelaide mentioned her uncle's camp may be near Brockboro, past the river. You have it. Now, why not practice the new spell on the training dome? At some point, you must stop preparing and put your newly honed skills to the test outside of the rebellion. Battle. Now, damn you guys. Rebellion.
Not meeting Natty. I don't, where does Natty usually be? further down the, the first time. there. thing one Seven. Sixteen and seven is not right, it's twenty-three. Five. Jesus. Seventy-five. There's only one up 
there were five heads, more than five heads, I guess. Lumos. Rebellion! Rebellion. Rebellion. Rebellion.
where is she that then? Hello, Homora. Revelio. Rebellion. Okay. Well, at least I figured out I had to go back to the letter.
I met him. Why well, can't I tell you where Falberton Castle is? I'm gonna go all the way over here. your helm. But thank you for making me the first object of your rebellion. Who my friends are now, don't I?
We can fly like this in real life, right? Rebellion. What's happening? I can't fly over there. I 
I literally can't go over there. <laughs> I can't go over there until I finish these other quests. I'm sitting here like, what is happening? So I can't meet her. Wow. Wow. Okay. I'm sitting here like, why can't I keep going? See if I could do this trial. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Rebellion. Couldn't bring it. This murder Charles won't get the best of me. Another one I've completed. I thought it was one of the first two that I've done yet. Yeah. Guess I increased my. Uh... All right, let's just go back to uh, our secret room. That's what I should have did. And we'll sit there. Get some potions. I got items I needed to figure out. Top hat. 
potion, acquire and use a thunder brew potion against enemies. Thunder brew. So I have to get that. Uh, that's recipe from Hogs Mead. All right, cool bean cats and kittens. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. Follow me here for more on Twitch. Uh, check me out on YouTube. I'm definitely going to add this to the playlist since we got to the uh, well, we got two quests. Two quests done. We finished uh, Sebastian's quest and then astronomy class and divination class, and we acquired more quests. So we'll complete those later. Until next time, peace out.